Okay, so I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So, another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. You're. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Dalo. Are you gonna hurt me? I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him. It's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Okay. Hey, hey. You're all right. You're all right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us should stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this kind of ruin my life? Tessa. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one fire left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. <laughs> Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay? This will save you and your baby. No. You are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? No. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, we! Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? 
I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> Amy, you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. Yes, absolutely. What are your questions? What's the catch of this miracle tech? You've made it in a lab, so is it radioactive or what? What about privacy laws? Are they trackable? Don't worry, we're talking about genetic reprogramming here, so nothing artificial or unnatural would ever go into our consumers' bodies. Amy, please, we need you now. Yes. We need proper assurances about these nanocells, Dr. Tennant. Fancy presentations are nice, but I've yet to see a return on investment. Why should we continue to bankroll Natalie and someone so young? All I can ask is that you trust me. Have any of you read my published thesis on cell specialization? Maybe you've seen some of my speeches to the UN on microbiological solutions to future epidemics? Natalie appointed me as head of biotechnology because this is my life and I will deliver. Amy, Natalie is insisting I'm so sorry, but I do have to leave. Please stay and enjoy the hospitality, and thank you so much for coming. Let's go, Emily. Natalie says to head directly to the complex. What happened? 
It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? She's already at the complex and is being transferred to security lab Alpha. OK, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Of a renegade. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country, I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job? No, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, have we considered the hysteria might actually be valid? What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise... I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you okay. skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. OK, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence, too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Now, I'm going to use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy! Gender fluid toilets, new policy. from your assistants down in security lab Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab Alpha. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. 
Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Woo! Oh my God, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Does this feel personal? Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. We're going into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical... Barriers. How long have you worked here again? It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. Vacuum conditions inactive. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the plane summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. This is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, feels fucking weird. 
You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. What for Nina? Terrorist organization. Oh, please stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use.